My background is a, as an equity investor. I've got a 30 year career in fund management and the last five years have been in multi-asset investing. And that's when I joined Aberdeen uh, Asset Management in the middle of 2014. In, in terms of Aberdeen Diversified Income and Growth Trust, I was appointed as co-manager along with Mike Brooks uh, at the start of 2017. And that was when the fund came together from the merger of two pre-existing investment trusts. So now Mike and I are co-managers of, of the trust. Our overall objective is to deliver an attractive return to shareholders with a low level of volatility compared to an asset class such as equities. Formally, it's defined as LIBOR plus 5.5% net of fees over a rolling five-year period. Well, Aberdeen Diversified Income and Growth Trust is a multi-asset fund, so it can hold a very wide range of asset classes. And indeed, it holds the widest range of asset classes across investment trusts on the London market. In terms of the split, we have around 20% invested in equities. We have around 20% invested in fixed income, which is primarily emerging market debt. And then we have 60% in alternative asset classes. And these will include infrastructure, property, real assets such as farmland, uh, insurance linked securities, a very wide range of asset classes. We have an investment in a farmland fund managed by a specialist manager based in California. The fund aims to invest in farms that can be converted into organic production, which can then deliver attractive double-digit cash yields to investors in areas such as blueberries, citrus, nuts and grapes. Well, we also have an investment in a development infrastructure fund managed by the specialist team at Aberdeen Standard Investments. They make greenfield investments, starting literally with the drawing board and working through to a completed infrastructure asset. A good example would be a sports stadium in Perth, Western Australia, which they recently completed and where the next ashes will be played. And that stadium is now leased to the state government of Western Australia for the next 25 years. Well, performance has been generally good, helped by strong performance in asset classes such as equities, infrastructure and asset-backed securities. And at the same time, shareholders have benefited from a narrowing of the discount on which the trust shares trade. They're now trading close to NAV. Multi-asset funds such as Aberdeen Diversified Income and Growth Trust can invest in a wide range of asset classes with attractive return drivers and different risk characteristics. This means that they can be more resilient during periods of weakness in equity markets, such as we saw earlier in the year when global equities fell by around 10% in sterling terms, but our NAV fell by only 2.5%. At the same time, our portfolio is naturally income generative and delivers an attractive yield to shareholders of around four and a quarter percent. 